16 Cordia Pros and Cons of Ownership, You Should Know So, you're thinking about the pros and cons of owning a Corgi. Here, we'll cover some of the most unexpected downsides and surprising upsides of Corgi ownership. These are real reports from real Corgi owners taken from around the web. Hopefully, you'll learn a thing or two that you never expected about owning a Corgi. Cons of owning a Corgi Corgis need a lot of exercise. Depending on your lifestyle, this may not be a bad thing. But for the majority of busy Americans, taking time out of the day after a long day at work can be extremely tiresome. Corgis require hours of both physical and mental exercise every single day. If you don't do this, they'll get creative and find ways to get into trouble. You can't leave a corgi at home all day it needs strenuous exercise at the dog park before and after work. Corgis shed a lot. As you probably already know, corgis can shed as much fur to make a second corgi. Because of their thick double coats, they shed all throughout the year and twice during peak coat transition events during the change of seasons. There's nothing you can really do to stop the shedding. You can only control the shedding by practicing basic grooming habits XYZ. Other than that, expect to eat, sleep, and breathe corgi fur 24-7. Corgis are stubborn. Corgis are known to be stubborn dogs, which can make daily tasks a chore. Because of their unwillingness to do things, they may end up refusing to eat or going pee in the right spot. They really do have a mind of their own and will consider their own wants and needs. They'll place them before their owner if necessary so don't expect a dog that listens to your every command and is eager to please. They may also need a lot of patience to be trained. Corgis can be aggressive. Corgis can be extremely aggressive to specific animals like rabbits, gophers, mice, cats, and even other dogs. They've also been reported to eat raccoons, frogs, and other pets. Depending on how the corgi was socialized, they may not always get along with other pets or humans. They may also have difficulty calming down. They can be extremely docile and calm towards one person but extremely aggressive towards another. Their size plays no role in their aggression. Corgis are prone to overeat. They develop weight problems easily and you need to be strict and consistent for feeding. Make your dog work for its food. Don't let it eat as much as it wants, or else this can lead to overeating. Corgis like to be dominant. Corgis are hurting dogs and like to be in charge. You need to teach them that the human comes first, or else you'll end up with a dog that always wants to lead and disobeys commands. They also want to know where all the people are at all times. Separating the people in the household can cause stress and anxiety for the dog. Corgis are deceptively smart. While this may not be a bad thing, their intelligence can make them cunning dogs who will try to get their way. Some owners reported that the dog calculates whether or not the punishment is worth the reward. This also means that if you don't keep the dog busy and occupied, it'll go crazy and start to become destructive. Remember that you can't outsmart the dog as easily as other breeds. Corgis have leg problems. Corgis aren't good with jumping or stairs due to their elongated bodies and thus are prone to leg problems. You should constantly take care to avoid any activities like that and also get regular vet checkups to make sure everything's okay. There are also special staircases made just for corgis. Pros of owning a corgi. Corgis are super smart. Yeah, we listed this as a con earlier. But at the same time, Corgis are an extremely smart dog breed which makes teaching commands and tricks easy. Pair the training with a reward and you'll have a dog that learns new commands in no time. Corgis are good guard dogs. For the most part, corgis are extremely vocal and will bark at anything that's out of the ordinary. This makes them excellent guard dogs for homes and can offer you peace of mind at nighttime from strangers. Corgis keep you in shape. Because they need so much exercise on a daily basis, this will eventually force you to get on an exercise regimen to keep up with your dog. Corgis are good family dogs. Although corgis can show aggressive behavior, the majority of socialized corgis are well trained and do well with the entire family. They work especially well with families that are closely bonded so it doesn't run from room and room trying to herd the family together. They're also very good with kids once they get accustomed to them and can handle some rough play. Corgis are food driven. This makes it easy to train and get them to please you in reward for food. 
Whether you're trying to teach them a new trick or stop a bad habit, all they need is food. Corgis are extremely loyal. They're a loyal dog that'll stick by the family like a herd of sheep. Corgis do well with multiple owners and don't mind having multiple people constantly hanging around. They're known to be loyal and stick with the family when socialized correctly. Corgis are never boring. These are high-energy dogs that are driven by testosterone and food. Whenever you're up for a game of fetch, tug of war, or even just a walk in the park, expect your corgi to be up and ready before you are. They're rarely lazy and will always be ready to do whatever you want to do. If you're expecting a lap dog, you'll want to adopt a different breed. Corgis are cute. Probably the most subjective reason on this list, but the long body, fluffy butt, and pointy ears just make a killer combination. You'll get strangers asking to pet your corgi and people sparking up random conversations with you on the street. Corgis have gained popularity over time and you'll be walking one of the hottest dogs of 2020. Thank you for watching.